life is returning to the San Joaquin River. And people are enjoying one of California's grandest natural treasures. For countless generations, the water of the San Joaquin flowed from Thousand Island Lake in the High Sierra, down rapids and over waterfalls and into the Great Central Valley before turning north to the Delta and finally out through the bay and into the open ocean. Every year, the San Joaquin attracted birds by the millions and salmon by the hundreds of thousands. It wasn't that long ago, just 60 years ago, that the old timer, I mean, the people who, who still are alive, can remember the sound of the salmon coming up in the river being so loud it'd keep them awake at night. You know, the slap, slap, slap of the salmon, you know, moving up here, spawning on the gravels around here. The San Joaquin River nurtured the largest spring salmon run in California. But all that ended when this dam was built in the 1940s. Friant Dam near Fresno stopped the flow of the native river and water was diverted from here into canals to irrigate the growing needs of agriculture in the Central Valley. By 1950, much of the river was dry, the salmon were gone, and the San Joaquin was less a river than a dump. But now, that's begun to change. Well, this is busy Highway 152 in the Central Valley, trucks and cars crossing the San Joaquin River, the second longest river in the state of California. But for more than 60 years, much of the time, there wasn't a drop of water out here. This river was dry. But now, the San Joaquin is coming back to life. It's been a priority of the Bay Institute for 25 years at least, when we recognized having a dry river, the second biggest river in the Central Valley being dry, it's just not an acceptable condition. But I think people are... Peter Vorster is a hydrologist with the Bay Institute. For many years, he and his colleagues and their partner organizations worked to bring water back to the San Joaquin. In the end, state law was on their side, and their long and determined efforts paid off in court. The judge had said it's not a question of if the San Joaquin is going to get water, it's a question of how much. From now on, an average of 15 to 20 percent of the water captured in Millerton Lake behind Fryant Dam will be delivered directly into the river channel itself. In March of 2010, after being mostly dry for 60 years, the first ribbons of water flowed from Fryant down the entire length of the San Joaquin again, and the river was reborn. It was a really feel-good story. It shows that, you know, people who have a goal in mind to bring a river back to life can do it. What better thing can you do as a family to, you know, come out here and, and enjoy what we have to offer? Water in the river, farming still happening. We can coexist here, you know. We can have, we can have a river and we can have life by the river. Getting a river back means good water quality, good clean water in the river. I think we all need water, and there's no reason why the people of San Joaquin Valley somehow should be deprived of what was once this great river. The clean river water will help recharge and improve the often very polluted underground water supply the people of the valley depend upon for drinking and daily life. And salmon will be reintroduced to the reborn river in the next few years. <laughs>